tie it arch actually functions a little bit like a bow and, and a bow and arrow in that the piece that you see along the length um, underneath the deck is a lot like the bowstring. So that's being pulled and the arch over the top acts like the arch part of the bow and so it all works together as far as um, tension and compression to keep things where they need to be. So the Sherman Mitten project is actually a collection of five bridges that we're working on with this construction contract. You've got one approach, the big long approach structure in Kentucky, the Sherman Mitten Bridge, and three smaller approaches in Indiana. Every project has its own unique set of parameters, problems that we have to solve as we're coming up with any design. And if you didn't go vertically with the double decks, they'd have to be side by side, and that takes up more real estate. Given the fact that this is going through downtown New Albany and the west side of Louisville that were both heavily populated, when I-64 was originally built, looking at minimizing that footprint on the surrounding area, I'm sure had something to do with the way that decision was made. 